Hi, I'm Tim Smith. I'm the project coordinator for the Western Republican River Riparian Improvement Project. Today I'm speaking to you from the historic Hayward Ranch in southwest Nebraska. It's a very cold January day. I'd like to take a few minutes and just explain to you why invasive species have become such a problem in the Republican River Valley in western Nebraska. Just what exactly is an invasive species? Well, simply put, it's a plant or an animal that has been introduced into an area where it's normally not found. And then, through rapid spread, increase in numbers, they become a nuisance. In southwest Nebraska, it looks a lot like this. Isn't this pretty? This is native cottonwood savanna. Cottonwood savanna is just native mixed grass prairie with scattered trees and shrubs, in our case cottonwoods, growing throughout it. And for many centuries this was the predominant habitat type found in the riparian areas of western Nebraska. But things really started to change from about the 1970s and continuing to present. There are many factors that have contributed to these changes, not the least of which is an ever-increasing demand for the remaining Republican River flows. These factors, when coupled with over a decade of drought, have helped create the conditions which have allowed invasive plant species to rapidly overrun the Republican River corridor. And it was at that time, about 30 or 40 years ago, that invasive species really began to take off in the Republican River Valley. And especially within the last 10 years or so, this type of habitat has become increasingly hard to find. What do you think of this mess? Now I'm about 200 yards from that open cottonwood savanna that I just showed you. But this is what invasive species do when they're allowed to go unchecked. And this is what we're fighting in southwest Nebraska. Invasive plant species have become such a problem in southwest Nebraska because they do four things that allow them to totally dominate the riparian habitat. One, they use up all the water. Two, they block out all the sunlight. Three, they use up all the nutrients. And four, they take up all the space. This ability to totally outcompete the native plant community for the available resources has resulted in a huge degradation of the riparian habitat. And this in turn has led to huge losses in productivity, biodiversity, carrying capacity, not to mention land values. And this is just barely scratching the surface of the damage these plants are doing to local economies. The Republican River has sustained and nourished man and beast in southwest Nebraska for thousands of years, and it continues to do so to this day. The fate of southwest Nebraska is inextricably entwined with the fate of the Republican River. Not only is it in our best interest to ensure the continued health and vitality of the Republican River, it's the right thing to do. backup singers. <laughs>